in the previous class we were talking about very general things about cooperative banks. They are not like commercial banks in many respect. Although they maintain CRR, SLR, CRR is very low. They depend primarily upon their own funds, but own funds members money and they also mobilize some deposits being in rural India for instance. And in urban India there are big commercial banks. So, urban commercial cooperative banks are also very not so important. They have to depend upon borrowed money a lot and the borrowed money primarily comes from RBI, NABARD, government sometimes. But if you look into the activities of cooperative banks like a commercial banks, they mobilize deposits, they provide remittance facilities to send money to another city. They give loans, but do not create credit very important distinction. They are not under the direct supervision of RBI, they are under the direct supervision of the state government, because every state government has a cooperative department, which registers cooperative societies all kinds of cooperative societies, just not banks all kinds. And the thing is in a commercial bank you see the management, the manager, the personal banking manager you know these people decide policies, these people decide whom to give loans, what mortgage to ask for, what the interest is going to be. But in case of a cooperative bank the management is some hired people who do the day to day functioning running of the bank, they have no say in the policy issues like regarding interest rate, whom to give loan what security to be asked for, they do not. They are all these functions important policy decisions are in the hands of the members of the society who form the society. But in case of a bank it is very different the bank who form the bank the shareholders do not have day to do not have a say in the policy issues usually unless it is a board of directors who meet and once in a while and decide where the shareholders also sit the majority shareholders. But in case of cooperative banks all are decided by the members of the society often there are guidelines given by the RBI or the state government and they are called what is known as bylaws they pass a resolution called a bylaw and they are documented in hard copies they are found. They pass a resolution regarding something some issue what the interest rate is going to be how much money we should borrow from outside, what next steps we should take, who should get the loan. You see these bylaws mainly govern the functioning of cooperative banks. The clerical work is given to the management who opens the bank, sits in the cash counter, accepts deposits, gives cash etcetera the day to day banking activities. So, this is very important thing to know. Now, I come to another issue the first it is not here the first branch if you see there the first branch that you see rural credit that is the most the oldest and the most sophisticated branch of cooperative banks in India the rural credit where is the short term credit given the short term rural credit where it happens here is that you have a state level bank called state cooperative bank district level bank called central cooperative banks village level banks called primary agricultural credit societies. The interaction between them is very interesting for instance as I told you earlier the state cooperative banks. And, and the rural credit usually they are unit banks they do not have branches, but however a state cooperative bank sometimes overlaps between two states that can happen. Now, the flow of funds between them is very interesting the maximum amount of funds you can imagine the real cooperative banks at the village level who are in touch with the farmers and the borrowers. Now, where do they get money they are very poor the farmers etcetera, so they borrow money how do they reach them they come via state government or NABARD 
to the state cooperative banks. Then they go to the central cooperative banks. On so central cooperative banks, they get distributed to the village level. So that's the largest flow of funds you get. However, there's a reverse flow of funds from primary agricultural credit societies to central cooperative banks and from central cooperative banks to the state cooperative bank. You know how it happens? And sometimes from the state cooperative bank to the state government also. How it happens? Suppose they have surplus funds. Some primary agriculture societies have surplus money. So what they do, they are asked to keep the surplus money to the central cooperative banks. And if there are surplus money with the central cooperative banks, after distributing all their money to primary agriculture credit societies, they in turn keep the money surplus with the state cooperative banks. Now, as I told you, they borrow a great deal from RBI and NABARD, so the downward flow is thicker than upward flow. But this is a very interesting obligation they maintain. Though they are separate unit banks, so your cooperative bank is not that cooperative bank or a branch. It's absolutely different kind, different set of people who founded it. Your cooperative bank, completely different set of people who founded them. And government of India or RBI has given state cooperative banks the status of a scheduled commercial bank even. This is called a scheduled bank, state cooperative banks and some central cooperative banks. They have a very respectable position now in India. All right. But the usual story is that the reverse flow is very small, usual story. And in case of short term loans and medium term loans, they are mostly meant for agriculture purposes, but there are a whole lot of other problems. Sometimes and these loans are entirely for consumption purposes, somebody's daughter has to get married, the farmer does not have money, it borrows from the cooperative bank. So, it is purely a consumption loan and often there are defaults etcetera. But another important thing I want to mention about the cooperative banks which is very much unlike commercial banks. A cooperative bank which has a name maybe, it does not say it is a cooperative society or something, but maybe sometimes after a name there is a cooperative written society. The banking activity sometimes can be only one of the activities. Since in the agricultural sector you have multi level of activities during harvesting, you have some kind of activity like storage of harvest all right, and various kinds of storing facilities are required, machines extra labor. At the time of sowing season beginning of a agricultural crop you have another kind of activities, you have to have access to fertilizers, you have to have access to seeds, you have to have access to money also. So, often when you look into closely into these cooperative banks, I have not really interacted, but what I have read is that they are multi level activities. They are on one part they are banks, on another part they also supply seeds, they also supply sometimes storage facilities during harvest and marketing also facilities whom to sell your produce. They, so, they are a support system to the farmers, they are supposed to be. Now, how much they are able to perform these multi level activities that one need to check, but they do that. So, a bank you go to a state bank, imagine you go to a bank on the one side you see there are cash counters, on the other side you see huge sacks, you wonder what is going on, well that part is a go down or that part, that part of the building stores seeds, fertilizers. So, they become an outlet also for various kinds of things they sell. IIT Kanpur had a cooperative society, I used to buy many things here, it was a store selling retail goods. One side was cloth, all kinds of cloth including bed sheets, bed covers etcetera and your and my shirts, pants etcetera all kinds of things. On the other side they were household items like soaps and shampoo and you know food items also sometimes. That building that cooperative uh, society when I joined has been converted into one of the commercial banks now. There is another commercial bank in our shopping center, United Commercial Bank, United Bank of India. United Bank of India opened its branch in that space 
they wind up the cooperative society wind up they do not have that outlet anymore it is a very interesting place they used to get things which are also available in other shops and sometimes things which are not available in other shops. If you go to a rural or semi urban India please visit you will see very interesting cooperative stores are there and they refer to there is one cooperative source so a one cooperative store come bank may be in one village or one town not more than that sometimes and everybody refers to as the co-op short form. And people have a regular habit of going there. Okay. So they do take up non-credit activities also, cooperative societies. All right. I have a I have a data here which is very interesting. Why is this reverse flow there? The reverse flow is encouraged because if you can suppose the primary agriculture credit society village level if they can save some money after giving out all the necessary loans if they function properly that is they, they recover loans properly they collect interest payments properly. The savings if they have and if they can put that savings in the central cooperative banks with the central cooperative banks this is a proof that that unit is functioning properly like you are trying to tell the central cooperative banks we are doing all right. Once you that signal goes that you are doing all right next time the central cooperative banks would advance you more money. So, that acts as an incentive for the primary agriculture credit society to get more money in future if they can save some money today and keep it with the central cooperative bank. The same thing with central cooperative banks if they can save some money today after distribution and put it with the state government the state cooperative banks then the next time state cooperative banks will use that as an incentive to give more to the central cooperative bank. And sometimes they borrow more than 10 times of their own money anyway. So, this is how the cooperative banks are looked after this reverse flow of funds and sometimes on state cooperative banks state governments are also sometimes very poor. So, they love to have cash in a reverse direction all the way to the state government. So, from the top state cooperative banks they can go all the way to the state government some surplus cash that can also that should also add as an encouraging factor for the state government to give more money because they helped me in the last financial year. So, in this financial year we should give and that report goes to Nabard and Nabar says, oh really this is how they are doing ok they are doing well what else do they need that encourages if somebody is defaulting defaulting not returning any money not collecting on money what they are becoming all NPAs or most of them is a discouraging factor tells you that you are not performing well your grade is D. But if you give some money up upwards leave some money there say you save and put some money then you get a B or an A grade that is what I am saying. Now, in terms of long term credit you understand where the long term credit in rural India would be required. It will be uh, construction of something, it will be required in uh, tube wells Wagara, wells tube wells, tractors, other machineries in western countries they are harvesting or harvesters, they are amazing machineries like the width of like this room nearly a harvester moves down or three fourths of this room on the one side they cut the harvest they cut the the, the ripe um, the, the plants then they separate the seed from the husk and through a funnel at the same time in a container your rice or wheat is ready to be um, uh, to be um, packaged unbelievable they do not come back after harvest and keep them there by hand what we do we cut them we feed them then there are places where we hit them hard and the seeds come off the husk and we collect them all right various ways we do it manually in India harvester I have seen on TV channels an amazing machine 
They are, they are the wheel like with blades, they are moving like a lawnmower, they cut the plants and then they separate right there when the machine is moving, it is like a big car, big truck and do the thing continuous simultaneously all right. The last point I want to mention is that urban areas cooperative banks, I have seen urban area cooperative bank, I have seen one cooperative bank whenever I go to city I do not take that route often, I used to go that take because I used to take IIT bus to go to the city. You come to a place called Chunni Ganj, after you cross Sarutnagar and all that place you go to a place called Chunni Ganj, there is a Sony service station there there is a bus terminal there too to go to uh, places like you know um, Jhansi etc you get buses there is a cooperative bank urban cooperative bank there I have seen urban cooperative banks go into industrial credit also because they are in urban areas. So they just do not concentrate on rural credit well rural credit will be very little so they go into also urban i.e. this kind of a credit urban cooperative banks. And in urban areas, this is also you should note, I have not put it there. In urban areas, some of the state cooperative banks who are doing really well also operate in urban areas along with the urban cooperative banks, just not the urban cooperative banks. State bank, state cooperative banks also operate in urban areas, all right, and central cooperative banks also sometimes operate in urban areas because at the district level you have both the urban and the rural areas. So, if you are doing well enough for the rural areas then you can go into urban semi urban areas also all right, but they do not have a federal structure like rural credit you have seen you have one loan fellow one branch is there nobody else no sub branches all right. And for urban cooperative banks is very important also to note that the licensing authority since they go into industrial credit the licensing authority is no longer the state cooperative department, the licensing authority becomes RBI very different because they now go can go into small scale medium scale fi industrial finance urban cooperative banks. So, their licensing authority or supervision lies with the RBI not state governments. So, that part is very separate from the last item here they go into retail trade also urban cooperative banks also retailers use I want to open a shop I want to increase my uh, my stock of goods I need some money all right. So, I can go to a cooperative bank and get loans if I am a member of that if I am not a member I do not know how it functions all right. So, now the last line is scheduled banks I started this this banking chapter what is a scheduled bank where you get some facilities from RBI it is important to note that these cooperative banks are old not functioning properly, but state cooperative banks and some central cooperative banks have the status of a scheduled bank and urban cooperative banks who are under the direct control of RBI also have the status of a scheduled bank. That means, RBI would help them whenever they need funds directly. Sometimes in case of rural credit they operate maybe via NABARD because NABARD after all used to be RBI part it became autonomous later I think around 70s it became autonomous department of agriculture and something something it is called long term and short term credit I have forgotten what used to be called. So, this is cooperative banks very different I will send you my notes very different from your commercial banks very very different I have been to cooperative societies nothing no big deal, but it is very friendly very like the same people your neighborhood people are running it and they all have a very close society also they grew up together from generations probably and they know each other there is no question of bargaining this is amazing it is a very different atmosphere well kind of a corner store concept corner store you know whom you have seen your parents have seen if you are in the same neighborhood the same people and that their children are running it like a corner store but bigger than that usually occupies a large room a cooperative bank ok. Now, I want to show you some data and it will take maybe a little bit today and then on Monday hopefully it will be done. So, Thursday or Friday we can meet for some revision class if you want Thursday we can meet for revision class 
I won't take attendance after Monday. If I can come on Monday, unbelievable how much work piles up. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you some data. This is the bank's banking system you saw. I have put now one incorrect information scheduled banks I should have put another thing some central cooperative banks are also scheduled banks this is one error in the diagram. Some central cooperative banks are also there central cooperative banks are also there in case of uh, non scheduled banks, but the village level ones primary agricultural credit societies are all non scheduled banks ok. This you have seen then you have seen the liabilities if you remember there are three items in the liabilities liabilities through the banking system. So, banks borrow from banks liabilities to others banks from borrow from us and liability and borrowings from the RBI. Now, let us look up the liabilities data first. Now, here is a number game you clearly see that the middle column middle here liabilities to others is a large number you clearly see that and liabilities to the banking system is a minuscule and borrowings from RBI is hardly anything sometimes 3 digit hardly 4 digit 5 digit once maybe 2008-9 you can see if 2008-9 can 5 digit who are all kharaab either. So, if you go into the percentage if you go into a line you see no line here the red line the red line is liable to others the other ones are lying flat on the ground slipping there. So, if you go into a percentage number I hope I have that and here is the percentage. So, what do you have in a percentage is liabilities to others is nearly touching 100 percent. And liability to the banking system and borrowings from RBI is hardly anything less than 1, maybe 1, 0 0.1, etcetera, less than 1 percent. Okay. So, it is hardly anything. So, the bulk is how bank runs, bank runs on the basis of your and my money, which I have been telling you. Banks do not run on the basis of money they get from RBI banks do not run on the basis of money they get from other banks banks run basis of money they get from you and me the public simple over 90 percent is there in fact nearly 100 percent. Now, after that liabilities to the banking system what do you have is a second column is seems to be quite thick column and the third one also borrow from banks and other detail demand and time deposits of course, how do you borrow from banks you borrow in the form of demand and time deposits. So, this is the demand and time deposits and the liabilities to the banking system and borrowing from banks is the red one blue is demand and time deposits from banks. Of course, banks keep savings account money and fixed deposit account money in other banks very interesting. This is a way of earning something just the way we put money in fixed deposit earn something do not keep the money idle at home if banks do not have the cash they do not want to invest in long term things do go and put the money in another bank. Yeh bahut aadmi ko pata nahi tha mera bhi pata nahi tha bank yeh karte hai. Lekin bank ja ke aur ek bank ke dal dete hai rak dete hai cash udar as an as a public as an individual. So, this is what you see here the bulk is the blue line going up the red has crossed once, but the blue line is going up then when did the red cross around 2008-9 why banks were borrowing a lot. 2008-9 में खराब हाल था, banks were borrowing a lot. Red line cross देखा, ऊपर जाके नीचे चला गया पिन. So banks were borrowing a lot around that time, 2008-9, I guess. Yeah, 2007-8-8-9 दो साल, then again नीचे जा रहा है. Okay. So banks are having surplus cash. So demand and time liabilities, if you look at the percentage. This is what the percentage is, is roughly over about 70 percent in demand and time liabilities now and 30 percent approximately 
is borrowing. Borrowing may be call market borrowing, CD, whatever. Okay, that kind of a borrowing from another bank, call market, CD. So you can see that what has happened. Only one, a few in the recent years, 2005, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, and then 8, 9, it was above 50 percent. But after that, it has gone down again. So three years, they are borrowing a lot in the call market. Okay. So this is what you have, like one of those Indian economy data, a fork-like thing we used to have. The red line is percentage of borrowing from banks. And the blue line is the demand and time deposits from banks. They came down, they crossed each other and then going up, fork like thing. Now, they are separate, very separate. Okay. Now, I go to the big stuff, liabilities to others. What do they have? Oh, of course, the blue line, aggregate deposits again, all right. Borrowing from the public and other DTL is very small, aggregate deposits. So, the percentage wise as you understand again over 90 percent and borrowing and other DTL is about 8.99 percent, so over 90 percent is nearly borrowing the demand and time deposits of people. Okay. So, public at large companies etcetera buy very little CDs and other things, okay. banks do not borrow from them at all very little and some other detail is there suspense account balances, Bhavanjan account holder kohan hai rupiya pada hua hai, wo sab hai idhar, thik hai kabhi account kholhe te chala gaya, koi nominee rakhe nahi wo account vikar pada hua hai, rekin rupiya bhi jaya ga nahi wo sab pada raha ga udhar. Now liabilities to others ho gaya, let us see about the borrowings from RBI. Are borrowings from RBI to 42 crores bhi hai 2000. 19 mein kuch hai nahi uske pehle 11000 crores 1000 11000 crores ho gaya 89 so suddenly it went up so if you look at the line the diagram is very clear it's very uneven and there was a sharp peak once it was about the end of the millennium there was a peak and then it went down nearly to zero and then went up borrowing from rbi then again went down and then went up so it's very uneven but 2008-9 clearly shows that the banks were borrowing heavily from RBI. Suddenly, the inflow of cash stopped, export market down, portfolio investment down, foreign direct investment down, dollars are not getting converted into cash, rupee is also down in banks holding. All right, suddenly there was a shrinkage. So it is very clear that when the inflow of money in the regular course like monsoon rain, if the rain is not there, you are not getting flow of cash and if it is too much of rain, then you get the flood also. That is when the repo market of RBI gets very active, reverse repo, reverse repo market and open market, uh, what do you call that, sale of securities become very important to absorb the excess liquidity. So essentially what happens, normally borrowing from RBI has become not so significant anymore. Banks are very independent, they do not depend upon RBI funds much. But if there is a tightening because of external shocks like the financial instability or whatever, then they do go to RBI and borrow like old days. Now, if you remember assets, what are the four items in assets? Cash and balances with RBI, CRR, etcetera assets with the banking system, the liability is opposite is the assets in the banking system. If you I if I have kept money with your bank that is my asset, but your liability. Achha. Then investment this is what I want to take up, banks how do they earn money, just, just do not create credit and loan only or open an account in another bank. Bulk of the banks earning comes from where banks make profit comes from investment activities and what kind of investment activities we need to check that. That is a very important data, what kind of investment activities. Okay. Clearly, if you look at the raw data, what does it say? The fourth and the fifth column numbers are massive compared to the first, compared to the second and the third column numbers. 
fourth and fifth column numbers are massive much bigger than so the bulk of banks assets are created through investment activities and through loans cash credits and overdrafts bulk of the assets but we would like to know the percentage distribution the money that is kept with rbi is very little compared to that and the money that banks keep with other banks is also very little compared to that compared to the other two okay so let's see in a simple absolute number plot you can see the total assets line is the blue one and then underneath there is a violet line what is that violet line the next most important line the violet line the violet line is the loan and credits right after the violet line there is a green line so the most important source of creating assets for banks and of course npa at the same time when you give out loan part of that will be npa non performing assets bulk of the assets of a commercial bank in india are created by giving out loans but the next most important is investment the green line the other items are less important cash and balances with rbi and assets with banking system they are lying flat out there the light blue line is the total asset line uske pass mein hai bank credits and loans and uske niche green wala the investment now if you look into the percentage number you can clearly see what i told you is less than 10% is cash balances individually speaking and together assets with the banking system less than 10% so 90% of commercial bank assets are because of loans cash credits and investment activities investment activities are to the tune of 29 26 27 25% and the bank credit is a very steady number from 9 2005 6 62 64 63 64 64 66 67 so the investment percentage varies bank credit is very steady 64% of the total assets of a banking system lie with the loans so indian banks give out a lot of loans and they do also invest a lot which is very safe because they cannot invest in stock market so where do they invest government securities semi government organization securities called other approved securities very safe that number changes a little bit from 37 in 2004 5 or 2003 4 41 slowly it has come down not one thing after 2003 4 which was 41% 41.2 to 2003 4 41.2 %. It has steadily come down. It has gone up a little bit 2008 9 and 7 9. Why has it gone up? Can anybody tell me? Banks are finding a safe route to invest basically. And government is also down asking for selling more bills. Recession immediately commercial bank investment activities in government securities and other approved securities have gone up by a percentage point roughly speaking but then it is coming down again and this is a very steady number more or less except the last year 67 it jumped so 2011 12 now 2012 13 we should expect indian economy to pick up because you can see right here from 66 to 67 and earlier it was 64 2010 11 2011 to and banks have given out more credit in percentage terms and remember 3 percentage jump is a lot of jump in total amount of money so thousands of crores extra loans etc they have given hopefully they have given to the not king fishers hopefully they have given to where money would be returned and investment would take place but you clearly see here note here this last column tells you how the economy is doing also it's clearly economy is reviving but the effect once it contracts 
All right, in the initial stages, you don't feel the contraction. When it has contracted sufficiently, you feel, my goodness, economy is not doing well. There is a lag effect. Similarly, when it is expanding, you won't feel their effect immediately. Within a couple of years, you would feel the effect. We can expect Indian economy, industrial sector to pick up because banks do invest a lot there. Because you can see from 64, 2009, 10, 64, 2008, 9, 7, 8, 63, it has jumped to 66 and it has jumped to 67. All right? It's clearly saying it. And with it, what is adjusting, you can see 5.2, 5.9, what is it saying? Balances with RBI have gone down, loans have gone up, what is it saying? CRR has gone down, definitely. So when CRR reductions are there, and look at the CRR reduction 7, 8, look at, CRRs are very high, cash is, cash is coming down now with RBI, CRR reductions are taking place. So you can see what these pictures also tell you a lot more as to what is happening in the Indian economy, what the policies are. And this is the line kind of you get. This is just like our Indian economy, some of the data I showed you. I remember once I taught a course to you. Ye upar, ye kon sa hai? Bank credit. Bank credit ka jump dekho, ujo bata rahe the abhi. Bank credit ka jump dekho. And investment come down. Dekho ek bar. You put jara hai, niche haar hai. Aridhar mein dekho. Aspas hai, niche jara hai line. So companies are borrowing again. Acha khabar. Ek do saal mein pata chale ga. Aap log jab tab graduate karengi idhar se, do saal baki hai. Economy have steadied again. No problem whatsoever. Banks are giving out more loans and they are not so scared about investing in government securities so much. They do excess of SLR's investment. SLR requires them to invest mandatorily. In beyond that, they do also. The bank investments are going down. Okay. Next is cash and balances with RBI kya hai? Oh, cash and balances with the RBI. Green line sabse jada hai. Oh, lal idhar hai. Apne paas rupiah bahut kam rakhte hai balance, cash in hand bahut kam hai, wo RBI ke paas bahut cash rakhte hai, because of CRR etc. Cash in hand and balances with RBI, a bank apne paas cash bahut kam rakhte hai, dekho, bahut farak hai. It's like 90 percent is there with, dekhi, percentage hai idha. Ah, nearly 90 percent is balanced with the RBI and apne paas cash both kam rakhte about 10 percent, less than 10 percent. So, abhi ab samaj gaya bank jab deposit lete hai, kya karte hai, both kam cash chorte hai, sab idhar udhar jata hai. Now, the assets with the banking system, I have made all in current account, in other accounts, money at call and short, advance to banks, other assets. Ah, ye both अच्छा कोई डायग्राम नहीं है ये बहुत मुश्किल है एक्सेप्ट एक ब्लू लाइन अदर एसेट्स के आसपास ये अदर अकाउंट्स ग्रीन वाला मनी एट कॉल एंड शॉर्ट इट गोस अप एंड डाउन कॉल मनी मार्केट में पार्टिसिपेशन और ये वाला एडवांसेस वो भी कुछ इतना इंपोर्ट से थोड़ा ऊपर है के नीचे एंड द लाइलाक एडवांस टू बैंक्स व्हाट इज इंपोर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंट लाइन इज इन अदर अकाउंट्स दैट मींस सेविंग्स अकाउंट एंड फिक्स्ड डिपॉजिट अकाउंट Savings account and fixed deposit because current account एक नीचे है लाल वाला so bank जब account खोल रहा है ज़्यादा रुपिया current account में रख नहीं रहा है मैं जब आपके bank में account खोलता हूँ मैं ज़्यादा savings या fixed deposit account में रखता just like people people also do the same thing they open savings account usually you will see and when they have some more cash which they can part with they put in a fixed deposit account Banks are behaving just like people. Here, what is it saying? Percentage wise, either hai, aap dekhenge jo bata rahe te, in other accounts where percentage sabse jada hai, and other assets kuch hai. Udar me rakhte hai.
इधर में दो डायग्राम मैं बनाए थे ये है द कंप्लीट फिगर फ्रॉम 1995-96 ये है 1995-96 टू 9010 या ये पूरा फिगर है ये है 1995 टू 2005 आप देखिए ग्रीन लाइन जो है मनी एट कॉल एंड शॉर्ट नोटिस वाज वेरी हाई इन अदर अकाउंट्स इतना कम एक मजा देखो इधर ये डेटा का दो दो पिक्चर है मैं जब देख रहे थे उनको 1995-96 which is roughly a 10 year period in this 10 year period you see there is a lot of call money investment call market and bank was not keeping so much money with other banks red line niche hai dekho in other accounts so what i'm saying if you go back to the original diagram ये रेड लाइन कुछ दिन तक एकदम नीचे था कॉल मनी ऊपर में था उसके बाद एकदम बदल गया बहुत फर्क आ गया सो देर इज अ डिमार्केशन कॉल्ड अ स्ट्रक्चरल ब्रेक अ स्ट्रक्चरल ब्रेक इन द डेटा अप टू सम पॉइंट इट वाज बिहेविंग इन वन वे आफ्टर दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट इज बिहेविंग इन अनदर फैशन सो आई डिसाइडेड टू ब्रेक इट अप द डेटा सेट सो वट आई डन नेक्स्ट टू स्लाइड दैट वॉट यू सी हेयर ये देखो 2005 तक ग्रीन एकदम ऊपर और उसके बाद देखो 2005 के बाद पिछले सात साल ग्रीन एकदम नीचे करंट अकाउंट वाला अदर एसेट्स ऊपर तो उसके बाद लाल वाला करंट अदर अकाउंट्स वेरी डिफरेंट पैटर्न बैंक्स आर नॉट रिक्वायरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कॉल मनी दैट मींस कॉल रेट से पता चलेगा बैंक्स आर नॉट रिक्वायरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कॉल मनी सो दे आर नॉट गिविंग कॉल मनी टू अदर बैंक्स सो बैंक्स वॉट देर डूइंग दे पुटिंग इन अदर एसेट्स वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ एसेट्स दे कैन फाइंड इन सी डीज वॉट एवर दे आर होल्डिंग एंड इन अकाउंट्स ऑफ बैंक्स That's where they're putting the money. If it is not demanding call money, they're putting it. Okay, rak do savings account me kuch fixed deposit me of other banks. It's a very different data. Call money ekdom niche after 2005-6. Niche hi ja raha hai. Upar gaya other accounts. Two-part figure that one data. You haven't seen such two-part figure a lot. Okay. Now investment. इधर में तो आप जानते ही है ये देखो ये लाइन देख के क्या होगा बेकार का एक डायग्राम है गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी एकदम ऊपर अदर अप्रूव सिक्योरिटी बहुत कम तो द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बॉन्ड्स एंड द रेलवे बॉन्ड्स एंड गॉड नोज व्हाट बॉन्ड्स नॉन गवर्नमेंट सेमी गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट बॉन्ड्स और गवर्नमेंट डिपार्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बॉन्ड्स वेरी लिटल इन देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो वॉट दे हैव गवर्नमेंट बिल्स गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज ट्रेजरी बिल्स दिस इज वॉट दे हैव एकदम ऊपर जा रहा है परसेंटेज नंबर देखो इधर ये देखो गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी का परसेंटेज नंबर नियरली टचिंग हंड्रेड यानी ये एकदम नीचे चले आए तो वो सब डिपार्टमेंट रुपया जरूरी नहीं है क्या भगवान जाने और कौन खरीद रहा है उनका बॉन्ड्स बैंक्स आर ओनली इंटरेस्टेड दीज डेज इन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज आदर अप्रूव सिक्योरिटीज में है ही नहीं रुपया Nearly 100 percent it has touched. ये data देखो 99.8 percent, 0.2. देखा? Nothing. They are not interested in putting money in other approved securities. Government security बहुत है. Share of investment, very interesting data. दो item है, एक ही है खाली. उसका उसका और एक का दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है. और नीचे जा रहा है line लाल वाला. X axis में चला गया. Now you come to this. Of course, you know bank credit. Me, which is the most important line? Loans, cash credits, of course. Bills are. What will happen? Loan, cash credits, and overdrafts. Bills. So, nothing happened. You have seen it. So, if you look into the per percentage, over 90 is loan, cash credits. Bills. So, nothing happened. So, share of loan. Who per? Are ye inland bill purchase, inland bill discounted, foreign bills purchase, foreign bills discounted. So, one with. फ्रेंड्स एक फ्रेंड का ग्रुप बना के उधर लेटे हैं इज नो बडी देर विद 
and this one guy is standing up there and doing all the job loans cash credits and overdrafts sabse important hai you have seen this actually as a percentage of total credit bills as a person commercial bills mein dikhaye the money market mein as a person your total bills acha here i have some final i have some schedule commercial bank some parameters credit deposit ratio dekho so deposit jab aate hai credit is about 78% these days investment deposit ratio dekho cash deposit ratio dekho now i am having a problem here if it is investment deposit ratio they should add up to 100 isn't it but this is the number i have didn't check this it crosses 100 so how is it that cash deposit ratio oh credit uh -huh. credit not loan sorry they can cross 100 credit is if you have this money you give out credit of this amount so credit creation is a multiplier effect investment deposit ratio 29.4 cash deposit ratio 6.1 so 29.4 and 6.1 is 35.5 35.5 if 35.5 is there then 65 64.5 cash remains percentage 64.5 say they may deduct something and then they create the credit and credit deposit ratio comes to this is the number from 2005 6 over 70 earlier it was lower so they are creating more credit very confident banks they are creating more credit credit multiplier has gone up they are creating more credit from the deposits deposits are also increasing credit as a share of the deposits the total credit is also increasing a lot very interesting banks are much more confident they are creating bigger credit larger multipliers i found that data somewhere so i thought i show that to you not what i have taught you so far but just to get a feel for a little bit how banks are behaving these days so this is the kind of line you will get credit deposit ratio like a fork going up investment deposit ratio going down and then cooperative banks